So in the end, I think we will discuss something about cooling of the transformers. If time, I think time will permit because we have five days. So at least we will uh, we'll finish up topic uh, in detail so that you should be able to answer a few things. So then the coolant, the oil, transformer oil, and then to, to hold this coolant, rather to keep this coolant, the tank is required. And again, uh, you have tubes just as to, uh, I mean, circulate the hot coolant into low zone and low coolant into high zone, high, high heat zone, like that, low, low temperature coolant. So this uh, tubes and all, and then other uh, protective uh, devices like uh, you have buckles really, you have um, breather, all these things are there. So that you can find it from the books, okay. So those are there. So there you will uh, some some dielectric loss because uh, the potential uh, magnetic uh, potential there in that transformer uh, winding and core, and then you have zero potential there, and then between them there is a conduction. So the dielectric losses are there. So then if you categorize the loss, copper loss is the most in a transformer. Then comes the core loss. Now, if you uh, if you uh, if you formulate total loss, say 100 percent, out of which copper and core loss will constitute, say, around 95 percent of the losses, 95, 90 to 95 percent of the losses. Okay. Now, this trail load loss will constitute about, say, five to six percent of the losses, maximum maximum uh, of the of the losses not of the total power, of the among the losses, okay? If the total loss is 100 watt, so 94 watt, 94 watt will be due to the copper and coal loss. And then three to four watt will be due to stray load loss. And the other two to one watt will be for dielectric loss. So naturally, these two losses, stray load loss and dielectric loss, they lose importance in order to calculate the efficiency and to judge the transformer uh, performance parameters, okay? So they're actually much lesser compared to this. So usually we concentrate on these two for UG readings, but for other uh, experimental things, you should account for these two losses also, stray load loss and dielectric losses. And if you look at the, the, the core loss, the so core loss will constitute uh, uh, of two parameters, that is eddy current and hysteresis. And eddy current loss, you all know, this you know probably, but still I'm repeating just uh, for, a, for a completeness. So this is actually Ke F square Bm square. That is E Ke is the constant of eddy current loss. It depends on many factors like the quality of the iron core, the thickness, uh, etc. Now F square Bm square. And then hysteresis loss is Ke F Bm power X same age constant, x, which is usually 1.6 per iron. And in many calculations, it is approximated to 2 for simplicity, right? So this is a separate reason. Now, if you see that PC, this is KH, ABMS, some, something is there. So that from here, I will tell you something. So that is why I have, uh, I have kept these things. So this is KH, ABM power x, and KE, F square, BM square. Now, the EMF equation of a transformer, if you see, it is 4.44 ABM into A into number of turn into stack factor, Ki, right? So then, if you see this, 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 and this, they are constant. So once you have designed the transformer, right? So then it becomes K into F into Bm. So then V will be proportional to F into Bm, right? So when V is constant, F into Bm is constant. So now you have uh, we have formulated like this, Kh Fbm into Bm power x minus 1, because uh, then it is Fbm power x, and this is Kh Fbm square. So then if you see, it is actually Kh Fbm is proportional to V, so then we have made Kh dashed into V into Bm power x minus 1 plus Ke dashed into V square. So is this clear? Is this clear? Yes, sir. Right. So now 
from this formula we are finding that pc that core loss is actually having k h b b m power x minus 1 and k e b m b square so now suppose you are operating a transformer say at say it is a rated voltage and rated frequency right rated voltage and rated frequency right so it is incurring certain core loss depending on the voltage k h dash and the rated b m that is there and k e dash and voltage right now suddenly the frequency is increased say from rated value say to 25% higher value without change in voltage so what will happen to the losses can you tell me core losses at least what will happen to the core losses voltage has been kept constant and frequency has been increased by 25% okay so what will happen to the core losses any any anybody can answer i will end up here ha eh? because it is 115 so another 5 minutes i will take to explain this page and we'll uh, listen to you for your question answer for 5 6 minutes and then close it ha eh? i think it is hectic 3 hours but anyway it is hectic for me also hectic for you also no other means <coughs> Do you uh, can you guess what is going to happen? Yes or no? <laughs> 